Welcome to the David Wafula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. Bunge la wananchi is supposed to be an organic forum whereby the common citizens come together and share ideas. But of late, it has begun to be misused. Politicians have noticed that there are several branches of Bunge la wananchi and that it's a ripe avenue to influence the political discussions of the day. How exactly do they do this? They do this by splashing some money around. For instance, in Jivanji Gardens, they all say that Babu Owino is the next governor. Why do they say that? Is it because they believe in his leadership skills? No, not really, but because he spends so much money on that caucus. Anytime they are arrested, he sends bail. Anytime they are down, he sends money. And every so often, he swings by. So because of that, they sing his tune. Babu Owino, it's like he owns them. If you go there today and say anything against Babu Owino, you'll be beaten and tossed out. Now, Kalonzo Musioka has also seen the organic reach that this Bunge La Wanainchi caucus has amongst the opposition electorate. And he also wants a piece of the cake. So yesterday he went to Tawala and he launched his own caucus of Bunge La Wanainchi. Here you can see them seated and holding the very first session of Bunge La Wanainchi Utawala branch. Now in this video I want us to look into how Kalonzo Musioka intends to weaponize this Utawala Bunge La Wanainchi to his own advantage as we ease into the 2027 elections where he's arguably going to be the opposition flag bearer because there's no one else who can match his caliber in the absence of Raila Odinga. I could have argued Matiangi but after the government Ilimfinya Kidogo he disappeared. Now before we get into that if you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david ofula hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to so how exactly does kalonzo musioka intend to weaponize this bunge la wanainchi caucus of utawala here's how Step one is automatically to launch and hold back. Then they're going to be watching and waiting to see who are the key individuals who are driving the conversation. Once those individuals have been identified, they will then be called to the side. They will receive new smartphones and cameras so that they can record themselves and trend in the country. They'll also be given a small monthly steep end to propagate the Kalonzo Musioka fanaticism. Then once these people start making headway, and the Kalonzo Musioka rhetoric also starts making headway, the next goal is to spend good money to get the small media companies, which I don't want to mention, to go there and start filming what is happening down there on the ground. So this is Kalonzo Musioka planting a seed with the hope that it will give him good returns ahead of 2027. Now much as I don't identify too much with Kalonzo Musioka's politics, what I can say is that this is a very good move from Kalonzo Musioka. This Bunge La Wanainchi is working miracles for candidates in the opposition side. Babu Wino is gaining headway. He can even defeat Edwin Sifuna to clinch the ODM ticket as the gubernatorial candidate for Nairobi. Now, of course, beating Sakaja is a whole different story, but getting the ticket, he might get there ahead of Edwin Sifuna. Because Edwin Sifuna is just on Citizen TV, NTV. He's moving across on uh, media companies. But Babu Wino is owning the Bunge La Wanainchi caucus in Nairobi. Kalonzo Musioka also wants a share of that. And he has been working very closely with Babu Wino. In fact, yesterday at the church service that he attended, Babu Wino could not be there, but he sent his PA. And Babu Wino's PA referred to Kalonzo Musioka as the sixth president of the Republic of Kenya. Here's the tip. He's the sixth president. If he can keep up such things, he will finally be able to stand as a man away from Raila Odinga. If he ever wants to run for president seriously, that is what he must do and he is doing it. And Kenya Kwanza needs to take this Bunge La Wanainchi thing very very seriously and have their own way to counter the headway that they've been making. Because it's only a fool who will ignore what they're doing and that it's working. Go look at those fellows in Bunge La Wanainchi, the ones who are truly truly leading the conversation. You find they have over 100,000 followers on TikTok. They have a following on YouTube. 
are following on Facebook, you find one person combined, they have over 400,000 followers across the various social media platforms. Now that's just one person, they have over around 15 people making headway. Put that together, that's more numbers than Citizen TV has on YouTube alone. So if these people are ignored, they'll continue making headway, something needs to be done. But Kalonzo Musioka, the move he's taken, I can only say that he's moving in the right direction. But as usual, guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. So in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. You put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.